As you guys know, I'm a volume guy. In other words, I'm very focused on understanding the volume changes that occur in a face as we age. The thing that I want to emphasize today is understanding what relative proportions of the face sort of go down or, or disappear. We have two components of our face, hard architecture and soft architecture. Hard architecture is bone and cartilage. Soft architecture is collagen, skin, fat, muscle. What proportion of each of these two things begin to go down? We lose some bone. Our teeth start going down. The area around our, our, our facial bones go down. But in a less proportion than our soft tissue, at least less uh, evidence of it, we have much more soft tissue loss of muscle, uh, fat, skin, collagen than we do have bony loss. So with that disproportionate loss, it accounts truly for the differences that occur in terms of facial balance. Let me explain. I'm specifically talking about the nose and how the nose relates to the face and how that occurs and what occurs with aging during the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s versus some things like, for example, we see on Leonardo, Leonardo da Vinci's uh, drawings where you see people with hanging noses. Do noses really age at 40? Well, of course they do. But what level of aging are we talking about? What usually occurs is people in their late 30s, early to mid 40s, early 50s start saying, my nose has aged so much, it's gotten much bigger on my face. What should I do, doc? Should I have a rhinoplasty? So a lot of them seek rhinoplasty and they just can't get the nose reduced to their satisfaction. Has their nose in that short a time frame actually aged? And the answer really is not much. And let me explain why. If we lose more soft tissue, then we lose hard tissue. And think about the constituents of the mid-face region here. This is primarily soft tissue with some bone support. The nose is almost all hard architecture, cartilage and bone, with a thin layer of soft tissue above it. So if we lose more soft tissue than hard tissue of our body, then our cheeks fall away faster than our nose can fall away because the nose is almost all hard framework. So the nose doesn't disappear much, but the face disappears a lot. So what happens with that is that our nose looks disproportionately larger as we age. And so a lot of people seeking rhinoplasty actually would benefit more from facial rejuvenation to create better balance. Now, clearly, there are a few considerations. One, if you said, look, I never liked my nose when I was 20. Well, you need a rhinoplasty, obviously, because that's nothing to do with aging. So that's a big de uh, determinant. I ask my patients, you, if they come in for rhinoplasty at 45, I want to see why they're coming in. Well, I've really have been bothered by my nose over the last five years. Well, that tells me a different story. What they're seeing is a disproportionate facial loss compared to their nose. So they may not benefit from a rhinoplasty. Sometimes by my lifting the cheek up a little bit, they go, yeah, my nose looks better. Or if they really don't get it and they don't want to have a fat transfer or something more permanent, putting a little filler into the cheek will give them a preview of how that would look vis-a-vis -vis their nose. So how long have you been bothered by your nose? And you have to delve into that. The other issue is do noses age? Yes, they age. Of course they do. And if you look at those drawings by Leonardo da Vinci, you can actually see true nasal aging. And what is that kind of nasal aging? What happens is the, the ligaments, the areas that hold the nose together, cartilage to cartilage, as you know, this is cartilage, this is cartilage, this is bone, and each of those areas actually start to separate. And when the ligaments start to loosen, the, there's a thing called a scroll, which is right here at this junction. That starts to unravel and the nose starts to lengthen and elongate. But that oftentimes, or rarely I should say, occurs prior to the age of 60 some years of age, although it can occur. And it usually occurs more often in men with very large pendulous noses. It doesn't occur as often in uh, women, especially if you're a female in your early 40s and you're seeing nasal aging. One, you could have had nasal aging. But also, I think more commonly, your face is aged disproportionate to your nose. So hopefully that discussion of hard versus soft architecture and how we lose more soft than hard architecture will give you a, a better clarity of understanding what's happening with your nose in your 30s, 40s, and 50s.